Well, God bless you. This is Pastor Owens. I'm sitting in my office and I thought that I would release a five-minute supernatural word into your life. If you have five minutes, this will bless your life. I want to talk about Lazarus in John, the 11th chapter. The Bible says Lazarus was sick unto death. And you know the story that God raised Lazarus from the dead. But I want to tell you, there are some things in your life that require a supernatural move of God. You cannot get around it. Things that you've been praying about a very long Long time and it won't leave things that keep reoccurring and keep coming around when you thought you've gotten over it and you thought you were delivered from it things that people that you can't reach on your own it requires a supernatural move by God some of the stuff that you're fighting with right now is supernatural it's not natural there's no way you could put your finger on it uh, you can't talk your way out of it you can't manipulate your way out of it you can't juggle your way out of it there's no the natural works don't work natural ways don't work it is supernatural. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 4 and 5 says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Well, how do I know when it's supernatural, Pastor? Well, first thing, the Bible says Lazarus was sick unto death. And so you must understand he was sick unto death, yet his name means whom God helps. Oh, wow. That's incredible because he had to be put in a situation to where his name would begin to be revealed and manifested, which means that was his assignment. And this is the first point you have to understand. When your point of pain speaks of your assignment, Lazarus name means whom God helped. He couldn't help himself. God had to come in and give him a supernatural deliverance and breakthrough, which means that when you are going through something that you can't get out of, it may be your assignment. It might be your purpose. You're speaking of addiction, childhood traumas, money problems. You did poorly in school, yet you've been called to teach the word of God and you cannot find the motivation to enlarge your vocabulary or to change the way you speak or to be a better uh, communicator. These are things the enemy fights against your assignment. So before you get mad with people, before you get frustrated with your dad, before you start blaming because you were molested, raped but took an advantage of you need to sit back and think you know what this is supernatural and God's calling me to this area so I need to get myself ready the second thing you must understand the Bible talks about that he was sick unto death he was sick unto death and there was no way he can get out of what he was in and he had two sisters who were anointed two sisters Mary and Martha they were anointed sometimes what you go through has nothing to do with you and has all to do with what you're connected to your grandma was anointed. Your granddaddy was anointed. Your pastor is anointed. Your, 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 your husband, your wife, your mama, your daddy, your sister, your daughter, your son, they're anointed. And because you're connected to them, sometimes you come up on the tag just because you're connected to an anointed person. And they have been assigned to your destiny and to your purpose. And so the third point, as you must understand, is the Bible talks about that he was sick unto death, the original Hebrew text says that he was dead and Jesus look at your Jesus look at your Jesus he was dead and Jesus said we're gonna hang a couple more days we want to make sure he did I want to make sure he understand he could not get himself up out this situation it had to be me and that's when it's supernatural there are things in your life there are things I'm talking to somebody there's some stuff you keep going through over and over again it is not natural. It is supernatural. So supernatural problems require a supernatural move of God. Oh, God. And so how do I engage it? You got to pursue glory instead of your problem. Quit blaming people and say, you know what? This is God. I'm going to get on my face. I'm going to seek the face of God and I'm going to go through this. Secondly, is you got to die to your flesh, your carnal ways, your carnal thinking, your, your the stuff that makes your flesh. The Bible says, put ye on the Lord Jesus and make no provisions for the flesh. Next thing you got to realize is that you have to remind yourself this is not about me. In John the 12th chapter, the ninth verse, the Bible says that after he raised Lazarus from the dead, 
People didn't come just for Jesus' sake only. They came to see this dude that was dead and got up from the grave. May I tell you and may I serve notice on the devil and let you know that you're going to rise again and you're coming up out of this mess that you're in. And when you come up out of this, people not just going to come. You ain't going to even have to tell them what happened. They're going to look at you and say, oh, God, I knew this person. Isn't there some people in your life who glad you saved? You were so rough. You were so jacked up. They glad you saved. Not you glad. They glad you saved. And people going to look at you and say, if God can save him or her, then I know God can save me. And the last point is you have to understand this. It's very, very important. Jesus needs crowds to perform miracles. I'm going to say that again. I'm going to say that again just because you just in case you get it twisted. What you hide or what is so private in your life, God won't give you a miracle. God can only give you a miracle when you have a crowd in your life because crowds represent that God needs a, he wants to do a miracle that everybody can see. He wants to do a miracle that everybody can look and say, you know what? This had to be God. So quit trying to hide. Quit trying to pretend you something you not. Quit trying to act like you better than you are. Just face it. I was messed up. I was on drugs. I did drugs. I sold drugs. I was jacked up. I was towed up a fornicator, tricking, messed up out of my mind. Yes, that was me. And Jesus waited till everybody knew it and gave me a miracle. So now I don't even have to say nothing. I go around and they say, oh my God, look what the Lord has done. May I tell you that God is going to give you a supernatural miracle. You just got to get it in your mind. I'm not ashamed of what I've been through. This requires the supernatural. I can't do this on my own. And God will give you a supernatural miracle miracle. I believe it. And let's pray. Father, thank you for this person who watched this. Give them a miracle, a supernatural miracle. I call it forth in the name of Jesus. And we give you praise in Christ's name. Amen. God bless you. I hope it blessed you. Listen, this may require the supernatural.